filling out, filling out the form. You know, first Madison Square Garden, now the form. And he's doing it because the fans just want to see him in the ring, regardless of who he fights against. Tom, Tom, obviously. Dante, you... Dante's Boxing Nation. watch right there that was a clip of uh kel brook getting ready to spar obviously that he put up on his instagram basically hyping himself up and getting fired up for the fight against gennady golovkin you can clearly see the guy he's sparring with is much bigger than he is but no matter how big he is he ain't no gennady golovkin and unfortunately for kel brook i truly believe that gennady golovkin he can get someone that can emulate Kell Brook more than Kell Brook can get someone to emulate Golovkin in the ring. But that's just my own opinion, you know, so I really don't know. For all I know, he can have somebody, Kell Brook can have somebody out there who looks a lot like Golovkin in the ring. Not trying to say that Golovkin has this extreme unique style, but there are some things that Golovkin does on the inside that are very, very creative. Like I told you guys before, I had the privilege to actually watch Gennady Golovkin spar out there in Big Bear, and he sparred a couple different guys. One guy in particular was um, a cruiserweight, and this guy obviously didn't have the experience of a Golovkin, but still, he was a cruiserweight. And Golovkin, he dropped him multiple times with body shots. I mean, it really, honestly, it got to the point I was there with my man, um, Cubano USA, my man Willie, and even Willie, he started to wonder, was it staged or anything? Because the way this kid was dropping, it's like every single time Golovkin touched this kid, he would just fall. It was a very impressive display of power. So with that being said, once again, I hope Kell Brook, he has the right type of sparring partners. I hope they're not just big and strong and they actually have some technique. I mean, personally, if I was Kell Brook or his team, I probably would have thought about getting some fighters from the eastern part of Europe, like maybe some Russians, some Uzbekistan fighters, some Kazakhstan fighters who has a style very similar to Gennady Golovkin. But at the end of the day, on fight night, we'll see. We'll see if uh, Kell Brook's uh, training paid off, and we'll see if uh, Kell Brook can back up his words because he's been extremely confident. He's been very confident. You know, I always tell you guys, when when uh, Amir Khan was fighting against Canelo Alvarez, or at least leading up to the fight, Khan seemed very confident. But I truly believe that Kell Brook's confidence is just a little bit more genuine. Not saying that Kell Brook, not saying that Amir Khan, excuse me, was walking in there thinking that he was gonna get his ass beat, but I just, I feel that Kell Brook, he has a different type of confidence in himself. Now, don't get me wrong, confidence cannot stop you from going down when you get caught with a perfect left hook that you never brace yourself for, but psychologically, Sometimes your confidence can affect your opponent. Sometimes you can get into your opponent's head psychologically with your confidence. So we'll see. Once again, we will see. That's pretty much all I got, guys. I'm on to the next one. Hi, my name is Janita, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.